I were to, there's a few different things, but if I were to name one core trajectory, it would be that the size of venture capital funds have increased, the number one, and then highly correlated to that, the scale of outcomes have, have, has increased and correlated to that, the time period where a company stays private has increased. So yeah. all of these things, so you're, you, you, and I think this, a lot of this started to change with, there were some great, great, great big outcomes before, but, um, and, and you just saw slowly, particularly with some of the social media companies, you know, coming out in the, you know, early knots, mid knots, you, uh, you know, as, as a, as a, this is what I observed just being in that ecosystem, right? If you're a venture capitalist at a pretty big fund, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, one company that becomes worth $10 billion, yeah. right. Can just be worth more than everything else that that fund invested in combined by let's say four or five other partners. So the incentive and the dynamic changes quite a bit to go out and find that. I mean, everyone's obviously trying to find the next biggest thing, but um, two things happen when you get these big outcomes, you can raise bigger funds. So the funds got a lot bigger. The third thing is, um, so the runway for the companies got a lot longer. Um, I was an investor, for example, in Palantir. When I invested there, I was a small investor. Um, at the time, they said, we, we have zero plans to go public. This was uh, with Granite Hill. I invested back in 2010. And a uh, small amount of money, not a huge one, but still turned out to be a, a big one for us. But yeah, I mean, we, I mean, it was like a 12 year, the holding period was longer than the typical life of a fund for some of the early investors. That's true even for some of the huge Outcomes recently, uh, I know this is a fact for Zoom. Uh, I was an investor in Sentinel One. I mean, we came in in 2013. The company did very, very well and went public nine years later. A typical fund life is 10 years. Yeah. Uh, so that's another thing. Yeah, even the fund life, everything's just longer and bigger.